When my time on earth is gone and my activities here are past, I want they bury me upside down and my critics can kiss my Well, it didn't take long for Hoosiers to create a memorial to Coach Knight on IU's campus at a statue celebrating one of his national titles with the cream in Crimson. And we begin first at four with those tributes to the iconic Bob Knight. He passed away Wednesday at the age of 83. Thanks for joining us here first at four. I'm Nick McGill and I'm Aliyah Blackburn. Any way you measure it, Coach Knight was indeed a legend. His long coaching career ended with a record of 902 wins and 371 losses. He claimed three NCAA championships, all for Indiana. He's in two basketball halls of fame and has an Olympic gold medal. But those numbers don't tell the whole story, though. Memories of the human side of Coach Knight, some good, some bad are being shared all over the state since the news broke. And no place has more stories than IU's campus in Bloomington. And that's where we find Fox 59's Eric Graves at a growing memorial to Coach Knight. Hey, Nick and Leah, it is a somber day here in Bloomington on the IU campus. The grass here in front of Assembly Hall is well trodden with the dozens of people who have come since last night to pay their respects and pay tribute to Coach Knight. Here in front of the artwork dedicated to his first national championship at IU, that 19 76 team. We got you some video earlier today as people came and shared stories and left flowers. There is, of course, a chair here in front of the memorial, a nod to one of Coach Knight's most infamous uh, things that happened while he was the coach here at IU. It really, people just sharing stories and, and talking with each other, their favorite memories of Coach Knight. It's a testament to his impact here on the IU campus that students not even born when Coach Knight led the Hoosiers are moved by his passing. Everyone we talk to agrees Indiana University isn't the same without Bobby Knight. The pride we feel for our basketball program and uh, in general is largely because Coach Knight and the precedent he set. It wouldn't be the same. Uh, the undefeated season that they had, uh, to go through it undefeated and then the national championship was just incredible if you just stop and think about it. A few more fans here now outside of Assembly Hall paying tribute to Bobby Knight. Uh, after his passing last night at the age of 83. Coming up at 6, we are going to have more on Bobby Knight's impact. We're going to go to one of the uh, longtime bars in Bloomington, look at some of the memorabilia of Bobby Knight you can only see there and talk about his impact on IU during his time as the head coach of the Hoosiers. For now, though, live in Bloomington, Eric Graves, Fox 59 News. All right, Eric, thank you. Certainly a lot of memories to go along Absolutely. with that. We see the memorials building all over the place there. Uh, certainly going to have more of that in the shows to come here. Now, Coach,